Morning everyone. Welcome to a very dark, hence all the lights that are on, northwest this morning and our compliance over coffee for Thursday this week. How is everyone? <clears throat> I hope everyone's well and getting through this third lockdown. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but Tom and I just feel really tired all the time. Despite the fact that we're sleeping, we just feel really tired. Really tired. Anyway, get up and get on with it is our motto. So this morning, Compliance Over Coffee is another in our document series. And this is another should have. And this one is what we call in our business the investor pro forma. What does that mean? What do we use it for and what's in it? It is the document that we have that gathers details of the investor that aren't the personal details that are in the data capture form. These are the details that we gather that if you like, help us to prove our KYC or know your client, which is what HMRC is looking for. Now, these are not legally required documents, but the knowledge that you're gathering is a requirement of registration for AML. And so you need a means of being able to gather this knowledge. It can't just be up in your head. You have to be able to prove that you're gathering it. So we have what we call the investor pro form. You can call it whatever you want. It really doesn't make any difference. So what's in it? As I've said, it helps us to prove our KYC or know your client. So it's our past, present and future, if you like, or it's the investor's past, present and future what um, um, experience have they got? Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. What experience have they got up to now? So do they already own a portfolio? What does it consist of? How many properties? What strategy have they already invested in? What are they looking at doing in the now? Over what period of time? Um, what type of strategy? Are they changing strategy? Are they sticking to the same strategy? Geographical location? How many? Over what period of time? And then also sort of long-term plans. What long-term plans have they got? And all of this builds up that picture for you as to getting to know your clients. Because what HMRC say is that if you don't know your clients, you can't possibly know if they're attempting to launder money or evade tax. So you have to show that you've got to know your client and there is no better way than gathering this information. Now, don't get me wrong. Someone isn't going to give you all of this information necessarily on the first phone call. These relationships take time to build. But our investor pro forma, whatever you want to call it, you can call it whatever you want, is the information document where we gather and cover the history the here and now and the future of our investor. And it gives us an overall picture. Now, you don't have to initially send this document to your investor and say, this is what we need you to fill in. If you have an initial telephone call, you'll get some snippets from them that you can complete parts of it before they actually ever see the form. So it's not, you know, thumb screws and give me this information or else. It's gathering this information over a period of maybe two or three phone calls, exchange of email addresses, sending them the um, investor pack if you have one with this contained in it, for them to start completing and filling in for you. It's a one page document with tick boxes and then some places for them to add some further detail if they wish to. It's as yesterday's, well sorry, Tuesday's, uh, our data capture forms. It's a Word document where which we've had coloured and judged up with our company details top and bottom and then the information that we gather in the middle. It is that simple. It isn't a legal requirement, but the information that you gather in it is a requirement for you to fulfill your money laundering um, requirements and meeting minimum standards with HMRC. So that is our investor pro forma. That is how we use it and a little bit about the data that we gather. I hope that is useful for you and you now have enough information to go off and be able to create your own. That is compliance over coffee for today. I hope wherever you are, it's drier than it is here because it's rained constantly for about 48 hours here. No let up today, apparently, either. Have a fantastic weekend. We will be back again with you next Tuesday for more compliance over coffee. But in the main, please stay safe. I'll see you next week.